Well, this section is about something called counting techniques, and it, it might seem a little bit silly because we already know how to count, but we're going to be counting things that have lots and lots and lots of possibilities. And keeping track of them by hand and counting them by hand can be a little bit of a pain, although sometimes it'll be a good technique to actually write out what the different uh, things that are that we're counting. So let's consider this right here. Which license plate system would give more options? Okay, so how many more license plate numbers that would be possible? Okay, if we had license plates with three letters on them, okay, or license plates with four digits on them. So very simple license plates. We're either allowed to have license plates with three different letters on them, okay, or three letters, three combinations of letters, okay, and uh, a license plate with four digits on it. Why? Okay, but, okay, so 26 letters here, and how many of them do we get to use? Three, and we've got four choices for digits here, so we've got more, more characters in there, but how many choices for each one of the digits? Zero through nine, so it would be ten, right? Okay, so if I've got three license plate slots here and four license plate slots here, how many choices do I have for that first letter? And how many choices do I have for the next one? Another 26, right? Okay, Because we didn't say we couldn't have repeats. So if I multiply those together, somebody grab their calculator really quickly. We'd have 26 times 26 times 26, or 26 cubed. That's a pretty darn big number. What is it? Okay, 17,576 possibilities. Okay, even though we have more slots available here, how many choices do we have for each one of these digits? So all together, that's going to be 10,000 choices there. Okay? So what we've just demonstrated right here is a, is a counting technique that's going to be outlined in the section. Um, and it's the fact that if these are independent choices... We figure out how many choices we have for the first one, how many choices we have for the second one, how many choices we have for the third one, and we just multiply them together. So if I choose A for this, I've got 20, I've got, once I choose an A here, I've still got 26 choices for this one and 26 choices for that one. And then I could do B with the same choices, C with the same choices, and so forth. So I just multiply those together. That's kind of called a, a multiplication principle. Okay. So let's say we change this just a little bit. Okay, so what if you couldn't use the same letter or number more than once? It's smaller, isn't it? It's smaller because we're taking out the repeats, right? So how many choices do I have for this first letter? Okay, I've, got, I've got 26 choices for that one. Once I choose a letter here, once I choose an A, can I use an A again? Nope. So how many choices here? 25. Only 25. Now I've chosen two letters. So let's choose, say I chose A and I chose B. How many choices do I have for this one? Only 24. So when I multiply those together, what do I end up with here? 15,600. It's quite a bit smaller just by not allowing repetition or repeats. Okay, for this one, I've got 10 choices for the first one. Once I choose that one, I've only got 9, then 8, then 7. So if I multiply those together, what do I get? What is it? 50, 40. Wow, cuts it, cuts it way down, doesn't it? All right, so with this figured out, how many standard license plates are possible in the state of Utah? So how does Utah do theirs? Okay, so three numbers and three letters. Now here's the interesting thing. Has anybody seen um, the old style of license plates? Anybody seen those black ones that they used to have years ago? Okay, they're just white with black letters and it said Utah. Pretty darn boring. Okay only slightly worse than 
Idaho plates that were green and said famous potatoes on them. That's what I grew up with. Okay. So the way they have them now, okay, there's a little space in the middle. And let's see, it's numbers first, three numbers, okay, and three digits, and then it's three letters. And it used to be the opposite of that, okay? But under the current scenario, let's just go with numbers here and letters here. And do they allow repeats? They do. So we'd have 10, 10, and 10. And then we'd have 26, 26, and 26. So we get... Multiply them together. Isn't that what it would be? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, one, one, one fewer zeros. Is that right? Okay. That, is that the right number? Yeah. You, you, you can. So we just said standard license plates, not the personalized and stuff like that. So you can have up to seven characters in there. Okay. Now, um, that's how many are just the standard license plates right now. What if we went back 15 or 20 years ago and it was the opposite? These are all letters and these are all numbers. Okay, you get the same answer, right? But but because they're in a different order, because we've swapped these, how would I find the total number of plates that were possible under those two scenarios? Would I times them together? You'd add them together. You'd add them together. Does that make sense? Okay. No? Okay. Um, okay, that number right there is pretty easy to understand, right? Okay. Let's scrap that, put that out of your mind. What if, the, what if it were just the opposite? What if it were letters here and numbers here? Does everybody agree that we get 26, 26, 26, 10, 10, and 10? So if I multiply those together, again, I get 17,576, or uh, 17 million. I get that number again. Well, I have all of these license plates that are possible, and all of these license plates that are possible. So if I put them in a big pile, would I times them when I put them in a pile, or would I just add them up when I put them in a pile? I'd just add them up. Does that make sense? Okay. Two completely different scenarios. It's not like we get these choices and then uh, multiply it by these choices over here. Okay. See the slight difference there? Counting can get kind of complicated. All right? So we're going to take a, look at, a quick look at these guys right here. We're going to look at example one and, and example two. These are out of your textbook. And what I've handed out to you is a copy of what's in your textbook. So between now and tomorrow, what I'd like you to do is get done with 9.4, okay? Read through 9.6. Just read it, okay? And I've left blanks in there, so as, as you read through it, if you can figure out what the answer is, take a guess in the space that's provided off to the side, and then look in the book and figure out how to do it. If you got it right you're in good shape. If you got it wrong, figure out what the correct way is to do it. Okay? So as an example, let's take a look at this right here. So let me slide this up. Okay? Eight pieces of paper are numbered from one to eight. They're placed in a box. One paper, paste, one paper is drawn from the box. Um, the number is written down. Um, and then it's replaced in the box. Then a second piece of paper is drawn from the box. And, and it's written down. Finally, the two numbers are added together. How many different ways can a total of 12 be obtained? How many different ways can a total of 12 be obtained? Well, if the digits are 1 through 8, if I draw a 1 and then another 1, do I get a 12? No. Okay, so let's think about this. How could I get a 12? What numbers would I have to draw? Okay, I could draw a 4 and an 8, a 5 and a 7, a six and a six. Anything else? Okay, very good. Okay, because when we pull it out, um, we could also get a seven and a five, and we could get an eight and a four. So how many different ways? Just the five that they've got outlined right there. Okay, now the next part is a big deal. Okay, this is done with replacement. 
So the, the, the draw is the same every time, the first and the second time. This next one is set up without replacement. So if I get a four the first time, can I get an eight the second time? If I take the four out and leave it out. Yeah. If I get a five the first time, can I get a seven the second time? Yes. If I draw a six the first time, can I get a six the second time? Nope. So I've got to eliminate that one right there. And both of these are possible. So we cut down from five possibilities to only four possible ways that we can get a 12. Okay. By changing the rules of the game, by changing the procedure. Okay. So if you look at these other problems right here, and this is where it talks about with replacement and without replacement, it talks about a fundamental counting principle where we multiply these together. And it runs through a bunch of examples. Okay, Notice how they've got M1, M2, M3, where they're multiplying them together. That's kind of like the license plate one. Okay, And it says things like, how many different pairs of letters from the English alphabet are possible? Well, how many choices for the first letter? 26. How many choices from the second letter? 26. Okay, So we'd multiply those together. It goes through and gives examples. Make sure that's right. But if you would read through and see if you can figure these out, it talks about things called permutations and combinations. If you've heard of those before, great. Read the section. We'll talk about them tomorrow. And when you, you don't have to do any work from 9-6. You don't have to do the assignment from 9-6. By the time we get done tomorrow, hopefully you have all your questions answered and you're safe to do 9-6 over the weekend. Everybody clear? Do 9-4 tonight. Read 9-6. That's it.